city. <sighs> this was unbelievable. Oh, man. Okay, here's the deal. At 87, a dream was set into motion. For years, they've been in millions of your living rooms. No couple has traveled the globe to bring you the adventures they do. Sport? Nah, it's a way of life. North America's favorite hunting couple are the real deal. They live at full draw. Close Encounters is what they do. It's not about glory, hype, or fame. It's about bows and arrows, baby. Draw, anchor, aim, release. Bucks, bears, bulls, birds, tree stands, ground blocks. Line, spot and stock. Now that's what we're talking about. Real hunting, real people, real adventure. We are the Archer's Choice. Hi, I'm Vicki Sansarulo. And I'm Ralph Sansarulo. Welcome to this week's edition of the Archer's Choice. Today's top story, Michael Ray from Wisconsin won the Archer's Choice Quiver of Dreams. And for those of you out there that don't know about the Quiver of Dreams, it is our way here at Archer's Choice Media to give back annually to our viewers. Ralph? Thanks, Vicki. You know, in other news, the sponsor's lucky logo or stimulus package, look for the NAP New Archery Products logo. Now, let's go on location. One, two, three. <clears throat> to the Quiver of Dreams winner, Michael Ray, up to his residence in Wisconsin. That's correct, Vicki. the Quiver of Dreams, and we're making a reality for Mike from Wisconsin. Of dreams. No. Yeah. Buddy, you're the winner. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come here, yes, you are. are. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Congratulations. Yes, yes, there is. I want to hear <laughs> so. Come on in here. No. Come here. No. Come here. I'm watching your show right Come now. Come here, brother. Come on. No way. Yes. God bless you. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Plano sent you a really cool new case. Yeah, got a brand new case. And Hoyt sent you a brand new Terra. Jesus, God Almighty. So we hope, you that, got new we hope that the Archer's Choice made your quiver of dreams come true. God bless you. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, we ready? forgot. You got to go on a hog hunt with oh, us in June. Yeah. If you want, you could come down to Florida yeah. with us and go hog hunting. I want a yeah, lot. we forgot. <laughs> we almost forgot that. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what you get. Quiver dreams. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. No, we're gonna go pack this all back up. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna pack go this up. Now. Oh my God. It's amazing. I can't. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it, man. This is un unbelievable. Did you want us to pinch you to make sure you were awake? <laughs> oh, okay, I'll do that. I just want to hold you. <laughs> are you talking to the Hoyt or are you talking yeah, to the Hoyt? Yeah, hold me off. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. you guys. Just wanted to make sure, I wanted to clarify that. Oh my God, what do I do now? <laughs> what do I do now? Play with it all. Look at you got all you this kind of fun stuff. Look, you got rapid rails and a tree stand. <laughs> this is crazy! Are you kidding me? Is Clarence House out there too? <laughs> well, that was quite a surprise for Michael Ray. In fact, I think he didn't look very well. Absolutely, Vicki. I think that he was going to vomit. Or Ralph. Now, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for participating in our Quiver of Dreams. When we come back, we will join Michael Ray on location in Florida.
Now, Vicki, let's continue heading down to Deer Park, Florida, Osceola Outfitters, and see if Michael Ray can conquer his quiver of dreams. Breaking news, this just in, there's a giant horny toad in Deer Park, Florida, stalking the residents. What happened, buddy? Well, I had a great morning. Uh, had four pigs come in, had some deer, some turkey. Uh, what else do we see? Uh, you having one of them big giant squirrels again? No, 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 <laughs> no squirrels. No squirrels, but there was a horny toad out there looking for us. A what? A horny toad. Horny toad. I guess that's what Joe said. And I never seen it. Horny that's kind of scary. It's a tree frog. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, is this a joke or what? A horny toad? I said, like, what'd you tell him, Joe? <laughs> Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. How many times? Have you turned around and tried to burn either a serving or a loop on to get the knot and you've caught, you, you burned a couple strings or a cable or something like that? Here's a real simple tip. Take a razor with the two little indentations. When you're gonna burn it, put that right there on the loop. Heat it up, press it down, and you won't be burning any strings or cables. That is your Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week. Hoppy, Michael. We're glad to hear you have the horny toad situation under control. Now, another breaking news. Let's join Ralph live for a weather update down in Florida. Well, I believe the weather forecast for today, slight showers, an easterly wind, about a 25% chance of showers, maybe a light, slight chance of some thunderstorm and lightning. No excessive flooding, nothing at all, except, well, could be Hoppy Kempfer's normal high humidity day. Tracking him. Thank you, Ralph and Vicky, man. Thank you. Thank you, Hoppy. I see a lot of fitters. Oscar Meyer should buy stock in you, man. Wow. Look at the Hellraiser. And it raised a lot tonight, huh? Right there he is. Hogging down with Osceola Outfitters. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got me a sandwich. That's a good job, man. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Red, dead, and corn fed, baby. <laughs> Corn. Well, congratulations, Michael Ray, on, uh, you know, attaining his quiver of dreams. Those were my lines. I decided that you hesitated. Cleared. Congratulations, Michael, on your quiver of dreams. And Vic, did you know that there's more than one orange hog down in Florida? And that, my friends, was proven today. Now, after a word from our sponsors, we'll be returning as we go gator hunting and not toad hunting. Welcome back. Now, <laughs> let's join the Arch Choice Media's internet geek, Gary Smoots, as he goes for his first swamp lizard. Gonna catch a gator we do today. We're going to uh, jump on this airboat here. We're going to head up this canal. Yeah, what we're going to do is we've actually, yesterday, we all came and we cut a path down one of the heads to try to get through. Well, the, the wind shifted and it blew all the all the, the floating bog and everything right back into us. Hoppy's gonna turn around, we're gonna take the airboat down, we're gonna see what we could see, maybe get a shot at a gator. All depends what happens. That's what I was gonna say. Back of the skull right yeah. there. Why not, Hop? That'd be the best thing. Hand, hand is two, two, three. Fire in a hole. It'll work. It did. I got an alligator. I got an alligator. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is just fun. <laughs> Can somebody just sing Amos Moses for me once? <laughs> what a shot. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right where you want it, I think. Yeah, you can't, uh... Perfect! <laughs> wow, that shot did what we needed, Hop. You put a perfect shot on him. We saw the bubbles coming up, so, I mean, you knew you lung shot him. You just... Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey! Oh, man! He double lunged Good him man. on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking news just coming in. Not new news, just breaking news. Ralph is still gullible. We've got one boat already down there. We chopped a trail yesterday. We need to get this boat, which won't fit down the walk trail. We're gonna drag it through all these hyacinths and tussocks and everything that's floating in this canal and get it to the open water. Okay. But what I need you to do is I'm gonna hook up to this. We'll get turned around. I'll hook to the back of my airboat. I'm gonna give you the push pole. All right. In case we get hung up on something, you can kind of push your way away, all right? All right. How much water is that gonna throw? Not much. It won't blow much. <laughs> This'll be good. Good job, Fast Fingers Smoothie. And Ralph, what were you thinking on that airboat? You're talking about a 350 engine with a major giant fan blades. Well, Vicky, that's what I call taking one for the team. When we return, Vic, Joe, and I will leave the network here and we are going for swamp lizards with our Hoyt bows at dark. Management gator hunts, like the ones you're about to see, are necessary to controlling the gator population. Now watch as Ralph, Joe, and I go on our own management gator hunts. It is 11, 11 o'clock <laughs> at night. We've been gator hunting all, wow, all day. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going gator hunting in a, in a canal that ain't, what is it, maybe 50, 20 yards wide? Yeah, 20 yards wide and about 
three miles long, but there's about a, uh, about a mile of open water. They cut the trail in here to get the boat to open water. Uncharted waters. Uncharted, ooh. <laughs> Extreme. And we forgot to mention how we got the boat here, but you've already seen that. Yeah. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun. That's all I'm saying. Oh. All right, skinny one. Look at this one, nice one. Where are you? You got him, honey. You got him, dude. Watch your hand. My girl got him. <laughs> All right, wipe that off. Yeah, baby. We are soaked. We are filthy dirty. I pulled the leech off my arm right there. But now, what do we do with these? We're going to uh, hose them off. I got to measure them. Yep. Get the links, write all that down, stick them in that walk in cooler, and a man will come and get them and process all of them. We'll process them all. I mean, you have to take out a bunch of gators. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Oh, around. man, when you look down those canals and you see all those eyes. Thanks, Hoppy. All right, guys. Wow, Ralph, that was quite a pile of wallets and handbags Absolutely. in that bunch. Absolutely, and you know what, Vic? Let's throw in a pair of boots. Well, how about it? Hmm, you know, I got to take those off. We had a blast. We, we hope we, well, we changed things up this week and just wanted to make you all laugh and enjoy it, and we want to thank Osceola Outfitters for making this all happen. Right, and if you happen to see the Lucky Logo, which was new archery products, log on to archerschoice.com. Click on the Lucky Logo button and fill out the information. Someone's going to win some great stuff from New Archery Products. And not only our partners for the Lucky Logo, but also to make the quiver of dreams a reality. We can't thank you enough. Michael, congratulations. Congrats again, and thanks for joining us down there. Yeah, absolutely. So until next week. We'll see you same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. <clears throat>